right, we got to talk about this New York to Dublin portal thing that they built. I got I got so many questions about that thing. This is the diary, by the way. I'm Scott, and if you're hearing construction next door, it's because they're redoing a bunch of crap. Our neighbors are uh, moving to South Carolina for a while, for a year, while they rent here, uh, or rent their house out here, and then uh, they basically will be getting free rent. Or no, what's I guess where they're moving to in South Carolina, they're going to get to do for free for some reason. I can't remember the deal. And then this place will just earn the money. And then they'll be back. And they're great. We like them. <clears throat> but you can you can kind of hear them sawing away on something in there. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a dead body. Probably not. They're not that kind of people. Anyway, this portal thing, this portal, you know, it's not really a portal. It's just like a, it's a big round public, uh, <coughs> excuse me, like a big public uh, camera hole, right? Because I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but portals aren't real. They're not actually real. You can't you can't go jump into the portal here and on the New York side and end up in Dublin, or vice versa. You gotta you just you're just doing video, right? And it took what t minus no seconds for some girl to jump up in front of that thing and on the New York side and pull her shirt up and bounce around the boobage. Somebody told me, I was reading something about that, and somebody said, it was a Discord or someone said that it was uh, a popular um, uh, OnlyFans person. I don't follow any of that, so I have no idea who that is. But anyway, that was her deal. And I'm like, well, yeah, of course. Somebody, of course somebody's going to get up and flash their their goods, you know, on this on this thing. And then somebody on the Dublin side was like just as quick to put up some, what was it like 9-11 footage on a camera or something or on a phone? It was like showing the planes hitting the buildings, holding it up on the portal in New York. It's like, okay. So everyone's stupid, really, is what that proves. But also, um, here, here's, here's my thinking, all right? So somebody sat around, I don't know who did it. I don't know who's in charge or who got the money or whatever, but somebody was sitting in a room and they were planning this out and, and somebody said you know what we ought to do is we ought to put a big uh camera you know and a big uh round portal looking thing and we ought to plop that down here and then our sister city i guess they're sister cities i don't know how you determine how that works but new york sister city is dublin ireland dublin i think it's dublin now now i'm wondering if i've got the right irish city I think I do. And the way they said, here's what we do. We put a camera here and a camera there. It, you know, we can already do this, by the way. If you have a friend in Dublin, or if you're in Dublin, you have a friend in New York, or anywhere in the world, y'all can just, you know, call each other. You can Skype or Discord or, you know, whatever. It's not hard. FaceTime. But anyway, when you do it in this way, it seems fantastic. Whoa, the technology, I guess. I don't know. Uh, part, part of the value or part of the, uh, the thing is that it's big. It's like a big old round circular video screen and it's real time. I don't know if it does sound or not. I didn't look into that, but it will reflect whatever they're doing on one side to the people on the other and, and, and the other way around. Do you remember land of the lost by chance with the slee stack and all that business? Do you remember this? I mean, I was a little kid, so I barely remember it, but some of you might. Um, it reminded me of that when they would go, they were in the land of the lost or whatever, and they would find a cave with like a portal in it, and that portal would be <clears throat> would be a connection to like a park, a public busy park somewhere. And it was like their way back to Earth or their timeline or whatever the hell they were doing. That's what it reminds me of. Anyway... So this thing, big throbbing screen, you know, doing its portal business, just showing each other, whatever. Like, what did they think? They knew when they built it. I'm sure they had really high-minded, sort of almost simple ideas of like, this is truly a way to connect the people. Imagine, if you will, like when they're trying to get funding and, and probably permission from the city. Imagine, if you will, a big circular camera, a portal you might call it, where 
uh, you, Bill, can take a look at uh, Irish O'Malley on the other side. He's over there picking uh, blighted potatoes, and you're over here eating cheeseburgers. Uh, and now the tug cultures, they f have a window to each other's soul. That's what we're proposing, right? And they weren't thinking of how a situation like that would immediately turn into the worst parts of the internet where someone's going to get their boobs out. Someone else is going to, I mean, it's only a matter of time before somebody like pees on it or, you know, some naked guys doing terrible things to himself in front of it on either side. Right. Really. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to weigh this in favor of either New York or Dublin. I think they're both, you know, well, look, if my stereotypes have taught me anything, everyone's always drunk 24 seven in Ireland. So that's just, a, that's just a ticking time bomb. Right. And over here, pfft, everybody wants their 10 minutes of fame. It's not 15 anymore, by the way, it's 10. We had to drop it because so many people want it. You can only have 10, 15 is an old idea. It doesn't work anymore. The averages have gone down. <coughs> I'm getting a cold. Anyway. I just feel like if I'd have been in that room and I had, I had any kind of way to call the deal, you know, uh, you know, make a decision. I think I would have said, all right, well, first of all, what's the lasting benefit here? What, what is this? Is it artistic enough that it's like an art thing that will stand the test of time and be a tribute to man's artistic endeavor? Well, no, it's just a camera and a, and a screen. And the fact that it's round is not that impressive. It really, honestly, it's probably not even round. It's probably cropped. It's some sort of regular old straight edge on each side sort of display. And then it's just cropped to fit in the, whole, in the circle, right? Like some kind of 2001 Space Odyssey freaking computer screen bullshit. Like you'd see in old 60s era science fiction. So that's already kind of a dumb idea, but, uh, so that alone, I'd be like, eh, so you're kind of just making a, I mean, it's going to be, people will be interested in for a day and then what are you, what are you doing? Right. And then secondly, I'd be like, you're, you're going to get weirdos. Like you're just straight up going to get them. You don't think you're going to get them, but you're, but you are. That had to have come up and they had to have been okay with it, I guess. Or somebody, somebody thumbs up that piece of business. Cause there's no way you do this and not expect like <laughs> wieners out, man. <laughs> it's what people do. <clears throat> they don't have, they don't have good, you know, self-control and, 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 in a public space like that, it makes it even more daring and exciting. It'll make them go viral and get all the clicks and the clout. That's what everyone's after, you know, these days. You hear that? I don't know what they're cutting, but that could be bodies. That could be... I don't know. It could be stolen art from the Louvre. That could be uh, dental work. It could be torture. It could be somebody who's a... You remember? Do you ever see Marathon Man? Again, very old movie. I was a little kid, I think. I don't even know if I was born when it came out. I probably was. It's probably early seventies. I don't know, but, uh, Dustin Hoffman's, uh, nemesis guy, the evil guy was, was given him dental surgery without any painkillers. That was the whole torture. Never quite got over that. I still think about that scene, especially when I have to go to the dentist and listen to the sound. It's like perfect. Oh, it stopped. All right. All right, Mr. Wilson, your uh, crown is good. And uh, should that's the strongest. Oh, hold on, we we left a little. Okay, yeah, we still got to get a little around the back. Uh, you got a you got plaque back. We call it here in our dental uh, profession. Uh, too much black pack pack. What I say, back plaque. Well, uh, you know, before you know it, it'll be side and front plaque. And then where where what do you do then, Mister Wilson? So hold still and quit moaning and take your medicine. <clears throat> there are also people behind us putting in turf. Now, let me just say this. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's a great day to get work done. I get it, right? It's nice, sunny out. We're finally getting some proper spring, early summer here. And uh, 
they're putting in turf in the backyard. Now, I know very specifically that turf is currently not just frowned upon by the HOA, the Homeowners Association, but is forbidden by the self-same organization. They are not down for this, uh, for this stuff here, right? Kind of like how I, I flirt, we flirted with, uh, what do you call it? Clover. You're not allowed to have clover here, but we flirted with it. I'm not saying I have it now. Why would I say that? Why would I want to incriminate myself? <laughs> but these people are putting in full on turf, like the kind you'd have in like a artificial football field because you don't have real grass. <clears throat> Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying, I respect the teams that play in the real grass. Anyway, I'm not going to tell on them, but they're kind of being blatant about it, kind of brazen about it. They're back there, like two or three dudes working on it. And they were playing some kind of flamenco music really loud today. That was kind of cool. And uh, they're laying down actual sod, and they're doing it kind of in the open. It's a little bit of a back alley, though, so maybe they get away with it that way. But if the HOA finds out, oh, heads are going to roll. You'll be sleeping in that turf six feet under, son. <sighs> yeah. Well, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. What is here and there and everywhere at once is that portal is stupid and if I were them, I would have it up for a little while and then take it down. Make it a temporary installation. It will do no good to anyone long term. If this was the 1800s and this was, uh, you know, somehow we magically were able to see Dublinians, is that what they're called? Uh, in real time through some sort of, you know, magical portal. Well, well, you'd all be thrilled. This would be as big as the Empire State Building, maybe, or not Empire State Building. Uh, what's her name? The Statue of Liberty. It'd be as big as that. The, the gift we got from France. It would be that and more, right? But that's not when we live. We live in a time where anybody with a phone in their pocket can do this for free. And it's just not, a, it's not that big a deal. And so you're saying, Scott, well, if it's not a big deal, why are you complaining about it? Why are you making it the central target of your freaking podcast right here, right now? Well, what else am I going to do? You know, I don't complain about a lot of things these days. I try not to. My goal, look, here's my goal. I got a goal. My goal is this. You ready? I'm going to punch up as often as possible. I don't like punching down. And when I do it, I'm, I'm disappointed that I've done it. So, you know, any complaining out of my mouth anywhere you hear it publicly will be me punching up. Do you know, do you understand the difference? There's some people who don't get it. They don't know what that means when I say punch up versus punch down. All right. You know, I'll give you an example. Um, I think making racially insensitive jokes on stage is punching down. If you're somebody like, I don't know, Louis C.K. or something, it's punching down. You have every right to do it, but you're still punching down. Like, go ahead and get up and do it, but don't be surprised if people don't like it. All right? Um, punching up would be... <clears throat> I don't know, maybe a black comedian on stage uh, poking fun at white people. That is punching up. Do you understand why? If you don't, I can't help you. It should be intrinsically understandable to you why that's a problem versus the other way. You know what I mean? It's a little bit like, um, oh, let's see. If the, if the chicken hawk was on stage ripping on chickens... That's punching down. If the chicken was on stage making jokes about chicken hawks, that's punching up. Does that make sense? That's the power dynamic. I feel like I shouldn't have to explain that, but I'm used to the internet now, and you guys sometimes, not you guys, but you know who I mean. You guys in the, in the royal sense <laughs> are kind of doughheads, or at least you pretend to be. Now, see, that's some punching down. I should not do that. I should punch sideways on those sorts of things. Because not everyone thinks that way. Clearly not. 
There's some very good, reasonable, rational people in this world. And we should focus on them. Problem is, they're busy just living their lives and not doing something outrageous, so we have to talk about it all the time, right? This is the thing people forget. They see stuff online and they automatically go, Ah, oh, it's all going to hell. I can't believe it. It's worse than ever. Well, really, it isn't. You're just paying attention to all the derisive sides of life. And it seems like that's prominent. It's not. It's in this little corner, in this little place. You can barely call social media a place. It's really not a place. It's kind of just a... It's just a artificial construct of spewed content. None of it means anything, really. It's not indicative of anything. It's not... I mean, it's, I suppose you could measure trends in social media within social media... But to the larger world, like, it doesn't fit. It doesn't match up. The math is wrong. If you see 10 people in a row on your feed complaining that, um, I don't know, pizzas have gotten smaller. What's the deal? What's the deal with pizza in this country today? And you think all pizzas have gotten, you know, since 1985, uh, the average pizza has shrunk 5%. Now, if you only hear people say that online, I'm going to go ahead and guess that two things are at play. One, they're freaking out over nothing and it's not actually true. It's a biased sample, blah, blah, blah. Or somebody saw an article and now they're spouting it out and maybe there's some truth to it. The hard part is knowing the difference and knowing when people are lying to you or not. I will say this, though. uh, Knowing when I see an AI-generated image is not hard. I don't know why this is hard for people. I see these images on Facebook get a million likes because they think it's some, you know, um, disabled veteran holding his puppy on his leg in his wheelchair with no legs. And they're like, happy, wish a happy birthday to me. And so many people just go all in. God bless you and your service. You're, you're amazing. What an inspiration. And I'm like, it's an AI generated image. Somebody made this in freaking mid journey or some shit. And it's so easy to tell the dude's got eight fingers on one hand. One eye is green. The other one's black. And I mean all black, like there's no white to his eyes. His glasses have no uh, rims for some reason. And his dog is missing its hindquarters. And then the T-shirt he's wearing and, and posters on the wall all are made of gibberish and they don't actually say anything. It's not hard to see it. You see it immediately. It's not hard. Even the best of that stuff, you can tell. You can just freaking tell. So people, pull your eye out of your socket, dust it off, blow it off, suck on it if you have to. You know, polish it up on your sleeve, stick it back in there and start thinking critically about the stuff you see online. It's not hard. See, this is me punching What is this, up or down? This is punching up. (laughs) Or at least it's punching sideways, because I'm giving you advice. You don't have to take it, though. You can tell me to go take a flying dump, and I would just have to comply. All right, well, that concludes another episode of The Diary, and I hope that you've learned something here today. I know I have. Here here are the lessons. Here are the takeaways. Uh, Video portals are dumb. Uh, expensive and a total waste. Maybe spend that money on uh, your homeless shelter around the corner. Maybe do that. Uh, Secondly, uh, uh, don't punch down. Only punch up. And thirdly, unless you're in a fight and the guy's directly in front of you and roughly your average height, then you can punch. You know, go for his face or other places if you need to. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. What are you doing home? You guys are already back? Yeah. Well, oh. well, I'm just finishing a diary. It's nice to see you. My lovely wife, Kim, has arrived. Well, hello. Everybody can calm down now and uh, chill. Did you hear the neighbors are putting in uh, turf over there? That's going to get them in trouble. It's illegal. Oh, they are doing a hot tub. Yeah, but the turf is HOA, non-compliant. Kind of like the clover we don't have. You know what I mean? Also, whatever they're cutting over here sounds like a dental office. Just like that. Something. They're not now, but they were. It made me think all kinds of things in my imagination. 
Uh, Kim went to a Mother's Day hangout with her friends. Oh, birthday dinner, sorry. Whose birthday? Oh, Stephanie. Her friend Steph and her friend Ruthann and Kim, right? The three musketeers of the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> went to Olive Garden? Yeah. And did you feel like when you were there, you were family? Uh, anyway, breadsticks and soup for everybody. That's it for today's episode. Thank you all for listening. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye now. Say bye, honey. <laughs>